From the time that I was born, I was told I would never walk, I would never sit up, or be a functioning member of society, and that the odds would, would always be against me. They didn't know anything was wrong with me until I was born. They diagnosed that I had a disease called sacralogenesis, which basically means that it affected the way the muscles in my legs worked. So they removed my legs just below my pelvis. One of the first memories that I have is being two years old in the hospital and my parents having to leave. Every single night they would have to kiss me goodnight. There would be tears from both ends and they would say, we'll see you in the morning. That was horrific. I was the kid who very often didn't feel like he fit in. So for a long time, I just listened to what other people told me I should do instead of listening to what I wanted to do. Then as I started to get older, I just always felt like something was missing. I felt like I had no purpose and I hated it. I absolutely hated it. A good friend of mine who knew that I had been struggling called and invited me to go to Kenya to build a school for a charity that I'd never heard of before called Free the Children. And so I went. And it was life altering. Not only did we help build a school, but a young girl said to me that she didn't know something like this, meaning the loss of my legs, could happen to white people too. And that was the first time where I realized that everybody has challenges to overcome. And I thought, oh wow, I've got to do something with my story. I, th I think that's what this means. Two years ago, the founder of Free the Children was like, hey Spencer, have you ever thought about climbing Kilimanjaro? And I said, yeah, I want to do it. So my two best friends come with me and we found ourselves at the base of Kilimanjaro. We climbed the first day and you come up out of the rainforest and you get to see the mountain for the first time. And my buddy, he was like, I thought we were on it, it's over there. So for me that was like, this is awesome and this is terrifying. My buddies had been so great at physically and mentally supporting me. And on summit day they both got sick. When I didn't know if my buddies and I were gonna make it or not. You know, what went through my head is it's, it's up to me now. So let's just finish together. Just go as slow as we need to, okay? I couldn't carry them, but I could walk because they had said that it inspired them before. So I thought, well, maybe this will work. And hand over hand and foot over foot, we walked. But eventually we made it to the top. I believe we have the potential to redefine the limits of our own human capacity. You just have to try. For me, that's the most important thing, is that we try.